What's up, Casual Duel Masters? This is Carl Reddish, aka Thunder Something, coming at you on Sunday, July 21st, 2013. Where are we at, guys? Conquest Island. Island, Richardson, Texas. Just got done with our dual days. Um, and the person on the left is? Brandon Estroff. And is this your dad? Yes, he is. Robert Estroff. We always call you Dr. Rob for years and years. You guys are from Dallas? Frisco. Frisco. And Dr. Rob, which Kaijudo Master Challenge did you get your invite at? Uh, Richardson. Here. Right here? I think you were sitting like right over here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that was during the pre-clash uh, yes. era. And where did you get yours, Braden? I got mine at Tyler. And that was in post-clash. So. Last week, I believe. Yeah. You, you, Dr. Rob, you got this yours week. the first week of KMCs, and you got yours yeah. the last week. A little stressful, but you got there. Uh, you, uh, unless... Uh, Jason Markland gets the LCQ. I think you guys are the only two father-son duo. So, you guys, you guys pretty excited about that? Yeah. I mean, you get to travel with your son, and it's just, that's just too cool. You both got second place, so you, you guys are both going to Seattle? Yes. Awesome, awesome. What are you guys most excited about uh, traveling to Seattle? Uh, just other, than, other than the KMC, or? Uh, you mean the, the, cha the championship? It could be the championship. Is that, okay, is that what mean, you're most excited about? Probably, but I mean, there's going to be other stuff. It's cool. The R&D thing will be yeah. cool, and, and just go into someplace new where we'll get to see some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys doing any sightseeing in Seattle? Yes, we will. Yes, we, we will. We will. And you mentioned earlier going to a uh, sightseeing. You're going to go to... <laughs> which is a... Uh, science fiction and or it's a like music and sci-fi and pop culture music music. very popular it's by the space needle you're saying <laughs> i think i think I'm, i think i'm gonna go to that too are you guys prepared for the q a with r d i don't think anyone's kind of, prepared i think they're all just gonna we had, wing we it we had some one idea but i mean it was like it was kind of more of a collective thing mm -hmm. so. and uh do you guys do a lot of play testing at home yeah no. well a little bit not of play like, testing. Not like all the time. Not like, like coffee break. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit at home, but most of it at, at the dual days yeah, and yeah. such. Yeah. That way you can rotate yeah. around and stuff. I mean, for the last several months, we've pretty much been playing the same deck. So. Has your play testing increased now that the championship's basically like two weeks away? Yeah, definitely. You guys gonna be doing a little bit more, more than normal, Probably. coming up. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, who? We don't have as many of the things to play test against. Having to split up cards and stuff. Ah, that's right, because you have one pool of cards. So instead of having to buy three of a card, you have to buy six. That's, that's a little trouble. So I think you ran into that problem in Tyler, where yeah, you had. We only have five uh, crystal memories in between us, so I only ran two. Who is the better deck builder, father or son? It just depends. We have a little bit different things, but it's pretty similar. Did, did he's break. probably, he's more the card playing magician. No, I, not for this game, though. Do you, ever, do you ever come up to your dad and you're like, hey, I've got this card, what do you think? And then that just spawns like so much deck building. Or it just happens all the time, but then most of the time it, we, we realize that, that whatever it was was probably not that great of a choice. Probably is just, just a bad choice. I understand, but that's how you find good stuff. Do you expect to see new decks or archetypes pop up at the championship, or will it just be the same from the KMCs? I just, yeah, I think there might, I don't know if there's going to be a, I mean, my thoughts are it's not going to be a totally new deck, but, you know, just a few cards here and there that may, you know, make certain magic. I mean, just match it a little bit, uh, or certain, against certain, you know, just, Tech kind of cards. Tech cards for matchups, but not a whole other archetype or anything. Just since that uh, last KMC, there I've, I've seen like at least in the past couple weeks in the old days, I've seen yeah. new decks, yeah. basically, yeah. not completely new archetypes, but yeah, like something that's 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 tweaked. Yeah. 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 Nothing that just busts through like Mega Bucks has done no, right. since Pennsylvania. Nothing like that. Okay. Are you guys excited to see a second championship in the same year? Yeah, that's awesome. I think that's good for the game. Yeah, it's great to see us. Good, good to hear. You'll be in college. Yeah. Probably when the the new KMC season hits. Will you Will you guys be traveling together as much as possible? Or I, I can't. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, we'll travel far. I mean, it'll be pretty close. Where do you go to college? At UT Austin. If, if if something pops up at like Pat's Games or or, or Dragon's, Lair. Dragon's Lair, you'd come down and play. Sure, sure. If the new KMCs 
had a sealed format, would that be exciting? And would you I, want to play in it? I don't particularly care for sealed, but I'd still play in it. I'd play in it too, but it probably wouldn't be my... You'd rather go construct. Sure. You'd rather you'd rather see all the new KMCs be constructed. Maybe Actually, one, maybe think, a draft, but not think, not sealed. I mean, I think if you get a few like some seals mixed in, I think that'd be such a bad idea. I don't. I think it'd be a great idea. Yeah. All right, last couple of questions. They're just uh, little short ones. Braden, what's your favorite Firebird? Nix. Nix. Yeah, for sure. Why? Because. If you can just have it stay out for a couple of turns and you keep feeding it dragons, then you probably win because of all the advantage that that generates. I agree. I agree. Uh, Dr. Rob, I don't see you play a lot of Evo cards. Do you have a favorite evolution card? I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. I know. It's crazy. I played Bronze Arms. They were here one weekend. I don't think I had otherwise. I see what you're saying. I've never had a Neuron, so I've never played into that deck. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm not playing more I didn't want to give anything away like that, but it happens. Dr. Rob, what's your favorite dragon and why? You play a lot of dragons. Is it the guy behind you? No? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'd probably go with Andrew, but just because I'm, you know, it's... Raw power? Yeah, just power. Just if, you, if you would otherwise lose, you bring Trauma and Trauma Day, and then, like, not only you essentially eliminate half of their creatures from attacking because you have to explode because of the all strikes, you also, like, you can also get shield blasts and the protection aspect. Uh, you know, not even the power of the card to attack. It's just absolutely the other the other uh, the defense. It's offensive, yeah. offensive and defensive. Yeah. Braden, what's your favorite multi civ card and why? Uh, probably piercing judgment because as so many uses you can like you can use it to get some crazy uh, crazy plays like uh, with just removal the removal aspect of it getting rid of two of their cards or you can like bounce your own stuff and reuse an Andromeda or Keeper of Dawn or something like that and then it's great when it's in your shields too. Yes, I agree. I didn't know if you would say piercing judgment or grip of despair. I've seen. You. No, I like piercing a lot. Dude, okay. And this one's kind of like a dual question. It doesn't have to be the most playable blocker, but what's your guys' favorite blocker? Wow, room goes silent. Uh, <laughs> I, I, mean, I, don't, yeah, I, I, don't, I mean, I guess Strider would be the one I would use the most. Yeah. Um, they're all pretty bland, but just like for, for like actually having fun using the card, probably Seracon, just because of the, the drawing three. Seracon, there you go. I don't use it though, so I very, very played it a long time ago. Well, thank you guys for doing the interview with me, and I will see you both in Seattle, and I hope you guys have a great time and enjoy your sightseeing, and I'll thank see you all there. Well, thank you. All right. Bye, guys.